We're on, we're on. Do you know what's funny is people tell me you don't need a power meter and these people generally ride carbon bikes with carbon wheels and zing, zing bling, group sets, etc. We're all like, riding, you know, $300 helmets and $300 sunglasses and they're like, you don't need a power meter. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> don't need a power meter. Then why the fuck do these people ride in such bling products? I'll tell you what, everybody, everybody can afford a power meter. Pretty much. If you can watch YouTube, you can afford it. I, I take that back because half the world lives in less than $2 a day. So not everyone can afford a power meter. But if you have access to internet, then you can make money enough to afford a power meter. Why am I so power meter fucking hungry, power meter evangelical? Is because the power meter is a pacing tool. The power meter is a pacing tool. It lets you learn how to pace properly. All right? So you work out how long you can hold 100 watts for, or 200 watts, or 400 watts, or 500 watts, or 800 watts. You quickly learn how long you can hold that wattage for. And then if you want to get up a hill, just knock it down to 100 watts. Just knock it down to 100 watts and just put it in easy gear and just spin your way up the hill. And you'll get up anything, pretty much. So the power meter is a pacing tool. It's the best thing you can get as a cyclist. So anyone who says, you don't need a power meter, they don't have a fucking clue. They may be sincere, but they're sincerely fucking wrong. And again, those people, they don't have to agree with me, but they're still fucking wrong. Sincerely wrong.